welcome to Paz Paz Perfumes and Panning. Phoebe here and I'm here with the new mystery box from Beauty Bay. Um, I'm going to show you half the contents of the beauty box. I'm going to show you some things that we're not keeping from the beauty box. And I'm going to show you some things I selected to keep. Um, I purchased the beauty box, I think it was last week, and we got it yesterday, and I decided to share it with Tracy, and she picked some things, and I picked some things, and then there's some things that neither of us were really, um, it wasn't really us, so we're going to keep it and maybe give it in a giveaway, along with some other bits, so let's get into the video. Here is the mystery box, I'll close it up so you don't see anything prematurely here is the beauty box um or the mystery box rather and so let's get into it and see what's inside really exciting i really wanted one of these last time beauty bay had them on the website but i missed out sadly so we'll start with a product i'm not keeping but i'm sure someone will get used out of it it's a beauty bay lip gloss for the obsessed by the obsessed and it's in the shade lollipop now it's not really um, a color i'd wear so i'm going to keep it and perhaps give it in a giveaway it looks kind of lollipop pink on the camera but it isn't it's kind of an orangey red very um knockout shade but it's not me i don't really wear those colors so i'm gonna um keep that it's lovely it has beauty bit on or be a b on the you know on the cap and the lid so yeah definitely keep that one someone will get great use out of it and love it it's not me or tracy it's not really a tracy color either and here is another pro another product we're giving away and there are 500 subscriber giveaway probably it's the um two percent bha overnight mask with salicylic acid for gently exfoliating and conditioning the skin all skin types so I wouldn't really use that. I don't really use overnight masks. So and neither does Tracy. So we'll definitely be giving that one away too. I won't open it. Keep it inside the box. Now get into some things that I will be keeping. So I got this brush. As it says brush. Backwards. <laughs> Um, it's a uh, in the buff foundation buffing brush, and I've opened it, so I'm definitely going to get great use out of this with my palette from England. I got for my birthday, so it's going to be great buffing brush. It's lovely. It's very um, it's a great shape, and it's very solid. I'd say it's a lovely brush, so I'll keep that. I'll get use out of that. You see. Some of the products in the mystery box you know obviously when it's mystery you won't get use out of them so it's good to keep for a giveaway and tracy liked some of the products and i liked some of them too so into the next item which is item number four something i'm really excited about it's a satin pillowcase from the drift off collection silky soft satin piece we'll see but no bedhead it's going to be ideal for me add a little bit of luxury to with your pillowcase because i have um sometimes problematic hair so i'll just give you a quick sneak peek of the packaging i've opened it but i'm definitely going to use this it's ideal really for girls with you know a lot of hair or curly hair or you know whatnot keep it in good condition so it's a beautiful satin pillowcase it's gold i won't open it up but you know what a pillowcase looks like so it's in gorgeous packaging with a little sticker came gorgeously wrapped really luxurious so definitely keep that because i'll get use out of it so i have seven items here and tracy is going to review the other four of the 11 beauty bay mystery box items in an upcoming video the ones she decided to keep i think then we also have um another little item we're going to keep and perhaps share um it's four little sponges they're like little egg sponges they're gorgeous didn't really know what this was when we opened it up um but definitely come in handy for under the eye buffing or for blending or for whoops there's one of them gone 
um or you know the little sponges like that tiny in around the nose you know little hard to reach areas definitely good for that so everything in the box is by beauty bay um they're the beauty bay mini makeup sponges that one on the ground probably won't get much use now sadly and then that's item one item two three four and five is the gloss so i have two more items so we got three palettes i think all together which is great value so one of the ones i chose was the golden age nine color palette so a nine shade eyeshadow palette to help you create your show stop and party looks with all the essential nudes and eye catch and goals now i'd actually been on the lookout for a palette like this so i could i'm wearing it today so i could um do a sort of um neutral look kind of neutral um in the crease of so dark shade and then a lovely shimmer on the lid and on the brow bone perhaps and in her corner and this is just perfect for that so I was really happy to get this palette. Don't know if you can see how good the shades are, but I'll read out the names. They're um Gleam, Precious, Gilded, um oh god, I need my glasses, Blitz, Glamour, Millionaire, View, and um Rush. Oh yeah, and precious. And they are beautiful. Beaut. She's a beaut, this palette, Golden Age. I think I'd seen it on Beauty Bay's website and I was thinking it was a nice palette, but I didn't actually buy it, so I'm really happy that I got it. The mystery box will definitely come in handy for doing those kind of um, neutral looks, which I like at the moment with pink lip. I think they're really on trend doing the dark shade in the crease. For now, Outlook, and then a nice shimmery lid. So it's just what I wanted and it's perfect. So I'm really happy with that item. And the seventh and final item in the, my part of the haul, I also love. And it's very me. It is the Alice in Wonderland six color palette by Disney Color and Beauty Bay. Now, I actually had this in my Beauty Bay cart. I was going to check out with it when I went on sale. I think it was like €3, Euro, but I actually didn't go ahead with that order. So I was so excited to get it in the box. So happy when I saw it. I noticed that it sold out like last week, and I was kind of wondering why and if it would come back. And thankfully, we got it in the box because it was sold out, and I didn't check out the first time with it. So I hope you can see that there. It's Alice in Wonderland themed, beautiful palette. And I'll show you the beautiful shades, they're very colourful. There's a pink one which is just so vibrant. There's a purple, there's a burgundy, there's a navy, there's a white for inner corner and there's a limey sort of yellow. So they are gorgeous and all of um, Mickey or Minnie Mouse sort of um, embedded on them, engraved on them. I'll try and show you that. So it just says Alice in Wonderland. A pressed pigment palette featuring six colourful shades with an ultra blendable and buildable formula. Perfect for creating a spectrum of looks. And that it certainly is. Can't wait to use this. I haven't used it yet. I went ahead with the neutral one today. But um, this one is just going to be fabulous too. Hope you can see the Mickey Mouse there. They're on all the shades. Just the logo so i'm so happy to have it because i love alice in wonderland kind of liking myself to alice in wonderland out of all the disney princesses i'd either be alice or sleeping beauty because the blonde hair and um because i like to sleep <laughs> and also alice because she's a bit like you know innocent and whimsical and all that a bit like me so yeah that's definitely um, going to come in handy, that palette. And it's a nice little keepsake too from the box because it's really special. Because I love um, Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, I actually got the Alice in Wonderland Spectrum um, sponges as well. So they were nice. 
Um, so that's what I got from the box. There's seven of the 11 items there. And Trace will be back tomorrow with her four that she decided to keep. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know your thoughts below if you bought the box. If you didn't buy the box, if you're looking into buying the box. Um, if you got any varying products that were different, that you got the box and you got something different than what we got. Um, anything really. Comment your thoughts, let us know. And Trace will be back tomorrow with hers. And it's really good value, that box. 40 euro and you get like three full-size palettes. Well, not full-size, a mini. Uh... A miniature uh middle size kind of one and medium size and then a kind of large palette which is a sneak peek for tomorrow and yeah you get a great range of things skincare makeup brushes sponges everything really so a little additional add-on i forgot i have another piece of alice in wonderland memorabilia i have this beautiful cat kids and scarf that tracy bought me a while back it's Cat Kidson, she bought it in a beautiful store here in Ireland and it's a Disney X Cat Kidston one size scarf, it's silk, gorgeous little pictures of Alice on it, I should have worn it in this video but I completely forgot I had it, it's there now, so I'm back with it, <laughs> you're not getting rid of me that easy, so um, there's Alice striking a lot of beautiful poses <laughs> beautiful poses she looks a bit like confused and you know like that um a little bit lost a little bit confused i love alice in wonderland she's one of my favorite disney characters um she's probably the one i most like if not sleeping beauty i probably like sleeping beauty too in a sense i do love to sleep so there she is again and you might be thinking it needs a iron, it doesn't, it's just silk, so it does you can't really iron it sadly. But um I love this scarf. I probably don't get as much wear out of it as I probably should, but um I love it nonetheless. It's a beautiful scarf, I have to say it's my favourite scarf. And um yeah, so that's Alice, if you don't know her. Alice in Wonderland, I'm sure you do though. And thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts below. Bye!